Good to see that you made the train today. What in the heck are you wearing? I will always make the train in my new kit. It has 1.963 less watts of drag than your suit so I can run faster. It also provides me compression so I can recover when I am not moving. It must be a bit tight because your voice is three octaves higher than before. Funny, did you follow Andrew Starkowitz at Bilbao Triathlon last weekend? No, I stopped reading the internet because I would read it and then hear it from you. So now I just rely on you. I was on my trainer doing my long ride because the sun was too bright outside. The race was a half Ironman and the swim was in a channel that was flowing very quickly and the swimmers were all getting pulled downstream. There were paddleboarders running over the athletes to try and keep everyone behind the start line but it was hopeless. It is hopeless in every race. Triathlon should just adapt the cycling neutral rule out approach. True. Once the race started Starkowitz was more like star swimmer in his Orca Alpha 1.5 absolutely swimming away. Not just by a couple seconds but over two minutes. He must have been drafting the boys. In transition everybody looked like rookies as the water was so cold nobody could pull off their wetsuits or put on their helmets. On the bike Starky legs were like pistons in the cold rain. He looked like he was having fun and everybody else looks miserable. That is what happens when you train in the North Pole like he does. This is where it starts to get funny. At the top of the first climb his DI2 for the rear derailleur stops working. So he is stuck in a his 25 for a 5 plus mile downhill. He looked like a wind up doll with those yellow Mavic shoes spinning at 140 RPM. Rain, equipment problems, I would detour to the coffee shop. So he climbs the next climb still spinning like an idiot and a Spanish rider passes him looking at him like, what are you doing? Does this American not know how to shift? Do you blame him? I thought he was an engineer. He is a mechanical engineer. Electronics is like kryptonite to him. He was a genius. At the top of this climb he holds the button at the junction box and when it auto shifts in its calibration cycle to a gear he wanted he unplugged the rear derailleur. That box is that option. I thought it was just there to check if your battery is dead. If you read the internet you would know how to use your bike not just ride it. I digress, over the final 20 miles he was on and off his Orbia more than a cyclocross rider. He kept plugging in his derailleur and tricking it into the gear he wanted. I bet you he wishes the course was not in the heart of the Pyrenees. How did he come off the bike? He was second and almost caught back up to the guy that passed him and he was five minutes up on the chase pack. You are kidding. Then the guy that was ahead of him dropped out after 10k because he biked too hard. So then Andrew won. It appeared that was going to happen but he started pressing on his stomach early in the run and started to look miserable like everybody else then at the 9 mile mark his body revolted. Did he get cramped? No. I read on Twitter that the night before, Ocelin Storm. Her boyfriend, Andrew and his wife ate at a five-star hotel. Jill and Asa got food poisoning that night. Philip dropped out due to illness and then just four miles from the crushing win, Andrew was under a bridge purging. Under a bridge? The first time, then in a couple of bushes. Apparently the toilets were not delivered to the course. That is a problem, that gives a new definition to course cleanup. He went from a large lady to a mortal walk. The fans lined the course screaming words of encouragement in Spanish but unfortunately for Andrew, he was plunging from first to sixth place walk jogging his way to the finish. How deep did they pay? Five deep. That is a problem. So after the race after a post-race massage and extended toilet session Andrew was notified that he won a wetsuit for the fastest swim split. He was called up on stage, and in horrible Spanish. He gave the new wetsuit to the person with the slowest swim that finished the race. I should have done it. I need a new wetsuit. No, you dropped out already because it was too cold and you went to the coffee shop. What does he have next, Connor? No, still even having a win at Ironman in 70.3 he does not appear he will have enough points to go to Connor. So my guess is he will win the Rev 3 series again. How can you win an Ironman and not be qualified for Connor? You need to get back on the internet. 
Anyhow, check out Andrew Starkowitz.com or follow him when he twats at, at Starkowitz. Thanks for giving me the race update and saving me my Saturday. Have a great day at work. Do not get your jock strap stuck on the turnstile. Do not hate on me.